Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we're looking at Brave Browser, which is my favorite new browser. I downloaded this about a month and a half ago and I've been testing it so that I can get a better feel for whether or not I like it and how it compares to other browsers that I've used such as uh, Chrome, Firefox, even Safari. Uh, but let's take a dive into this browser because I've been having a great time with this browser. Uh, it's been blocking ads, uh, blocking phishing, blocking trackers which makes my browsing experience much safer, more secure, and much faster. So I'm gonna show you an example here of the Brave browser that I just pulled up. And I pulled it up uh, in what's good at TraderJoes.com. And this is because I was just eating dinner tonight and I picked up some food. I thought I had picked up the lamb vindaloo over at Trader Joe's and I accidentally picked up uh, a vegan tiki masala. And I'm not vegan, so I just kinda of wanted to look it up. It's in the exact same package. So I grabbed the wrong one and um, it turns out I'm vegan tonight. I wanted to see what, what was in it, but as you can see here, uh, I can go into this browser and kind of pull up, you know, if I wanna block ads and tracking, if I wanna block phishing, I can block scripts. I can get really as detailed as I want to and, you know, block the stuff that I don't want uh, and then keep other things, you know, to my liking. I can get real customizable here, which is really cool. And it's a feature that I love about the browser. I am going to dive into how to get paid to use the Brave browser just for browsing online. But before I do that, I actually wanna talk about a couple of other features that the browser includes that I really like. Because personally, I did download the browser to get paid to browse. I love generating passive income and this seemed like an easy way to do it. But once I downloaded the browser, I started to notice all of these other features. They're not only very important to me and improve my experience when I'm browsing, but they actually save me a ton of money. So I'll get into all of those and also you know, how to get paid to use the browser a little bit later in the video. If you decide that you wanna test out the Brave browser and maybe play around with some of the features, I went ahead and left a link down below that you can use to go ahead and download the browser. The team behind the Brave browser and the basic attention token is incredibly impressive. Like these guys' resumes are unreal. So one of the co-founders is Brandon Ike, and he invented JavaScript, which underlies like everything on the internet. The other co-founder, uh, Brian Bondi, he was the co-founder of Mozilla Firefox before. So he has a ton of experience in you know, creating browsers and working on a team like that. These guys are not playing games. They're very serious about what they're doing and they're playing to win. Recently, Brave Browser hit 5 million active users, which is a big achievement. Uh, and you know, compared to something like Chrome, which gets a billion monthly active users, they still have a long ways to go, but they are slowly chipping away at this and making themselves very relevant in the browser game. So let's talk about exactly how this browser works and how it winds up paying users like you and I money just to browse on the web and watch a few ads here and there. So essentially the Brave browser is stripping away the normal ads that show up on a website and giving you a clean viewing experience without ads. And then if you wanna opt into ads, those ads will be replaced by ads within the Brave network. The team also created the basic attention token, which is a cryptocurrency, and it will be used to pay publishers and creators and also pay out uh, you know, normal viewers like you and I who are streaming the web based upon where their attention is online and where it is on that web page. The browser anonymously monitors user attention and then rewards them for opting in to those ads that they're now seeing in the Brave browser. And it also uses this monitoring activity, which is you know 100% anonymous, to reward publishers based upon where users' attention is. And this is much more efficient than the current uh, solution in place with advertising, which is entirely wasteful and actually isn't giving publishers as much money as they would like uh, because there are middlemen that are taking away a lot of that money that should be coming in straight to publishers. In the current environment, companies like Google are taking a huge chunk out of publishers' potential advertising revenue. It can be upwards of 70% based on some estimates. So because this new system that's been put in place on the Brave browser using the basic attention token is so much more efficient than the past uh, system in place, Brave is actually able to reward users in basic attention token, uh, which you can look up the equivalent to US dollar that's constantly fluctuating you know, based on the popularity and uh, cryptocurrency in general. Uh, but you know the bottom line is is that users are rewarded and estimates have come in that you can make between $90 and $220 a year just for browsing, which seems kind of low, but it is in entirely passive income. So you're doing something that you would already have been doing and now you're getting paid to do it. Not to mention your overall browsing experience is just gonna be better with the Brave browser. It'll load faster and you're gonna be a lot more secure. 
If you do decide to opt into that advertising network, then you're getting paid a little bit more, but still enjoying some of the other benefits of the browser. The Brave browser itself was built on Chromium, which is the open source foundation of Google Chrome. So there are a lot of similarities between the two browsers. The main difference just being that Brave is a lot faster and a lot more secure. The Brave browser also allows for common extensions that you can use on Chrome to also be used in Brave, which for people like you and I that are switching over from Chrome most likely, this is a big plus. So one of the first things that I noticed when I downloaded the Brave browser was the speed. And honestly, it blew me away. I'm not even kidding. So I had been using Chrome and I first downloaded the browser on my iPhone. It is significantly faster. And Brave claims that it's up, time, up to eight times faster than Chrome, which I 100% believe because all of a sudden, uh, loading time is significantly faster and I'm doing way more, way more efficient on my browser, which is huge for a ton of different reasons. Now, Brave browser, you can also get on a desktop uh, and it claims that it's about two times faster than Chrome on the desktop applications, which is still a lot of speed and definitely you know worthwhile, worth downloading just for that reason alone. And you know, the reason why you're slowing down so much is because on a normal web, web page, you spend a lot of time loading ads and loading trackers, uh, you know, giving away your information and actually paying for it, which is kind of crazy to think about. And you know, people haven't really considered this uh, as much until recently when privacy online and you know, in other parts of our lives has really come into, uh, you know, the front line of our attention. It's something that we're noticing. It's something that we're questioning and asking for. And Brave Browser has really started to address this. My current cell phone service is T-Mobile. And oftentimes throughout the month, I end up running out of that 4G data and going down to that, you know, LTE data that is much, much slower. Uh, I do pay a lot less for T-Mobile, but honestly, I'm paying for it, you know, with the speed and with the reduced efficiency. So when I downloaded the Brave browser, I noticed that I was running out of data a lot slower and getting closer to the end of the month making it through which has been huge for me because i spend a lot of the time on the road and i actually need to be online uh, browsing and doing stuff for my cell phone so you know for me for my business for just life in general this has made it so much easier for me besides reducing data usage which according to brave is actually uh, about 50 percent of data for the average user is applied to just loading ads and tracking which is a huge amount to consider. But aside from that alone, you're also going to be saving a lot of battery power by using the Brave browser uh, because that time spent loading and that energy spent loading pages uh, is no longer needed, at least not as much of it. So your battery might last longer. And so if you're like me and you have an iPhone, uh, you know, those batteries start to slow down after a few years of use. And, you know, I've also noticed recently that my average charges just don't last as long. So stuff like the Brave browser, little things like that, that are saving me battery power are actually huge and make a big difference on my day-to-day -day life.